Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Zartus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to unlock a Facebook account. But before we start, hurry up and check out the sub purchase under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you unlock your account here when in this case you've just received this notification that says your account has been locked. So your, your account can be locked if Facebook actually has suspicion that there are going to be some suspicious activities going around on your account, which is really unfortunate here, but there is a, a way for us to unlock our account. So first things first, just go to the Facebook app, open it up, and just basically log in or access your account. And once you've accessed your account, this is the first thing you'll see. So the great thing about a lock or your account being locked here is, again, you still have the way to unlock it. So just click on the Get Started here, and it will actually show you the different steps on how to unlock your account. So first is you need to confirm that this is your actual account and you will need to provide some information about yourself and basically provide some IDs to verify your identity. But in this case, uh, what we need to do here is we just need to follow the steps. Just click on next. And from here, again, let's go ahead and confirm our identity. Let's go ahead and click on confirm your identity. Now from here, it's going to ask you to tell about what uh, what ways that you they can or Facebook can actually reach out to you, maybe on your email or your WhatsApp number. And you also need to upload an ID here, so make sure to have that at your side, very handy. Now in this case, the next thing you want to do here is you want to go ahead and just provide the details or the meta that you want to uh, or Facebook to reach out to you, either email or WhatsApp. Next is you want to enter the confirmation code that was sent to you either to your email or to your WhatsApp number. Now, once you've entered the confirmation code here, click on next. Next is you want to enter the ID that you want to use for your uh, verification. So in this case, first choose the country of ID here. So choose the country where the ID is actually from. So for example, if your ID is from Australia, make sure to choose Australia here or from the Philippines, choose the Philippines. Now from here, you want to go and choose the type of ID, either passport, driver's license, or national ID card. You could also choose other IDs here if you have that available. Now from here, you need to take a photo of your ID. So just click on get started and you want to also allow your camera to access your, or in this case, your Facebook uh, app here. Now in this case, once you have your access, you should be able to take a photo. Make sure to align that in the screen itself. So there's going to be some highlights I see on screen. Make sure to fit your ID into that section there. But in this case, once you've actually taken a photo, it's going to say, is this info readable? In this case, make sure that all information are readable. It's not blurry and uh, someone can actually read the information within it. But in this case, once you're sure, just click on submit. But if not, just click on retake photo. Now from here, it's going to say they need to take a closer look into your Facebook or in this case, the information that you've submitted. So in this case, it's the waiting game from here on. So in this case, you just need to wait for 48 hours and they will send you a link either for, to your email or to your WhatsApp number. Now, if you do receive a notification or an email or a message from uh, Facebook, go ahead and access that and they will send you a link or that says that they've actually verified your account. In this case, you could go ahead and click on it, and that would actually redirect you to our page, which in this case, you can now secure your login details. So in the following steps, you could just go ahead and review your details. So that includes removing some unfamiliar emails, some unfamiliar numbers, and basically updating all the security details and updating your password and a lot of stuff. But once you've completed all these steps there, you should be able to start using Facebook again as you would. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.